Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to explain a 2002 movie named, 40 Days and 40 Nights. This movie is based on a boy who decides not to masturbate for 40 days. The movie begins and we see a guy named Mate, one who can easily impress any girl. One day Matt is sitting in restaurant deleting picture and video from laptop, he goes to his brother who is taking training to become a priest in the church. Matt tells his brother that he has broken up with his girlfriend Nicole, and because of which he is very hurt, that's why he get intimated with different girls every day to forget her. He tells that while getting intimate, he feels as if there is a crack in selling, due to which he leaves midway during the intimate, and because of which he is not able to get intimate with anyone in the night. Matt's brother overhears the matter, but he can't do anything about it. In the next scene, we see that Matt is living with his friend, Ryan. They both go to a bar in the evening. In the bar, Matt easily impresses a girl and then he takes that girl to his room, where they both get intimate. During the intimation, Matt is again seen cracking the ceiling and Matt retreats in fear. Matt goes to his office, there he works in web designing. When he goes to the canteen, he learns that his girlfriend is getting engaged. Matt rushes to confirm this and reaches where Nicole's engagement is taking place. Seeing this, Matt's became very sad, but at the same place, another girl gets impressed by Matt. Matt tells this to his brother. Then Matt tell him that he will reap in of all these mistakes and will stay away from any sex activity for 40 days, during this he also decides not to do masturbate. Matt's brother tells him that it is not that easy, then Matt says that I decided this and I will show it by doing it. Now this is the first day of Matt's decision, in the morning Matt removes everything, so that his mind does not turn towards sexability, and then Matt spends his first day comfortably, in which he solves the puzzle without any problems. At evening, Ryan comes and asks Matt to go to the club, but Matt refuses by saying that he has to go to the laundry today. After that Matt takes his clothes and goes to the laundry, just then a lovely girl comes over there, whose name is Erica. Erica became impressed on seeing Matt, but Matt doesn't care for Erica in the slightest, rather, when Erica is talking to Matt, Matt doesn't answer her at all, he behaves like he is dumb. After which Erica starts leaving and asks Matt to meet him at the same place next week. It's been one week since Matt's decision, Matt has become very productive, due to which his boss is also very happy. After that we see Ryan, he asks Matt about Matt's porn collection in the dustbin, so Matt tells him everything that he has taken an oath for 40 days because of which he has done all this. The next day, news from Ryan spread throughout the office that Matt had taken a 40-day vow. Upon hearing this, Matt's office friends bet on how long Matt will be able to hold himself back. The condition seems to be that if Matt makes a masturbate within 40 days, then the better will get the money, among them one posts this news to internet due to which this news of Matt, spreads all over the world, and here Matt had no idea what was happening about him. After that some girls are also talking about Matt, then one girl says that what do you think Matt will be able to hold for 40 days, then the other girl says hey, leave 40 days, he cannot stop even 40 minutes, just you keep looking at me, and that girl gets up and goes to Matt's office and starts seducing Matt, but Matt somehow controls himself and leaves. At night, Matt goes to the laundry, and seeing Erica, Matt starts talking to her on his own. After that Erica and Matt talk a lot. The next morning Matt tells Ryan about him and Erica and also tells that they will go on a date today. In the evening, Matt and Erica spend good time together. Later in the night, when Matt leaves Erica at his house and goes back, Erica try to kiss Matt, but then Matt walks away with an excuse. The next morning, Matt is eating something in the office canteen. A man asks him how was your date, Matt is surprised because he only told Ryan about his date. Then Chris comes to that place and he tells all these things to Matt. Along with Matt also comes to know that online betting has been done on him. On the other hand, Erica also somehow comes to know about it and Erica gets angry. Matt explains a lot to Erica but Erica does not understand. After that Matt goes home in anger and gets angry at Ryan. The next week, when Matt takes the clothes to the laundry, he finds a letter from Erica there, on which she invited Matt for dinner. At night, when the two are having dinner, Matt's eyes fall on his ex-girlfriend. Matt tries to get out of there somehow, but in a hurry, his hand catches on fire, which diverts everyone's attention towards him. When things settle down, Nicole comes over and Matt introduces Erica to Nicole, but Erica again gets angry with Matt and says, why didn't you tell me about it earlier? After saying this, Erica leaves from there. The next day, the girls come to Matt's office and start seducing Matt, but Matt again controls himself and leaves from there. Matt goes to his brother and tells that I am slowly seeing all the girls topless, in which Matt's brother says, you should talk to our parents about all this, maybe they can help us. After that, when the two brothers are having dinner with their parents, Matt's father starts giving knowledge of his sexual life and Matt's attention again turns on sexual matters. The scene changes, and the next day one of Matt's friends, mixes a Viagra pill and a glass of juice and he gives the glass to Matt, but just before Matt, 
His boss comes there and he ends up drinking the glass of juice. Now the effect that Matt was supposed to have is happening to his boss. After a while Trunken comes to Matt and says that brother, if you masturbate today, I will get $18,000, which we will divide in half. Which hearing this, Matt also agrees and goes to the bathroom to masturbate. Trunken keeps cheering here, and everyone stands outside the bathroom. Just as Matt is about to masturbate, he hears someone else masturbate from the bathroom next door. And he is none other than Matt's boss, who drank that Viagra juice, by now Matt's boss has masturbated three times. Here Matt wakes up, and jumps off the bathroom window, then Matt goes to meet Erica at her house, and becomes quite romantic there, but there nothing happens and he falls asleep. By the time Erica opens her eyes the next morning, Matt has already left. On the same day Matt has to attend a presentation, but when Matt goes to the office, his gun is loaded, which everyone is surprised to see, and Matt's boss sends him home. Nicole then arrives at Matt's house and she tells him that she ended his relation with her fiancé and she has come to hook up with Matt, but Matt flatly refuses to listen to her words. On the 38th day, Nicole goes to Chris to bet, that's when he learns that Matt has planned to get intimate with Erica as soon as the 40 days are over. Upon hearing this, Nicole gets very jealous, and she tells Chris that she will break Matt's oath before 40 days. Here on the other hand, Matt was now out of control in excitement, he was also doing ludicrous things to calm her down. Matt was now seeing every girl naked. Matt goes to his brother because of all these problems to get some help, only then Matt sees that his brother was romancing with a nun. When Matt tells him about his situation, Matt's brother tells that, I can't control myself, so how can I help you? In the next scene, we see Matt, who is controlling himself in some way, but Ryan calls a call girl who seduces Matt. Matt tells Ryan to tie me to the bed so that I can control myself, Ryan ties him up and takes the call girl. Matt is having sexual thoughts lying down, when Matt opens his eyes, he sees Nicole is there and she forcefully intimates with Matt after seeing him tied up. When Nicole is leaving the room, Erica sees her, she thinks Matt has cheated on her and she leaves. A few days later, when Matt comes to the laundry, their Matt sees Erica and Matt tells Erica the whole truth. Erica agrees to the mate, and then the two have a wonderful kiss, after that they both go to the room and have romance. Outside the room, Matt's friends are betting on how long Matt will be able to stay on the bed. And with this, the movie ends. I hope that you enjoy this video, if you want to make sure you never miss a new upload, be sure to subscribe to the channel Mr. Explainer, turn on notifications and click the bell icon, you'll get a notification, whenever I upload a new video like this.